hello to my beautiful leo gang how are you guys today thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising as well as your venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. All right, so the King of Pentacles wanted to show its face immediately, but let's see why. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus that you're talking to. I feel like this person is looking you dead in your fucking face. This may be somebody who does blank stares. This is somebody who stares at you when they know that they're when you're wrong or you're lying. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This person is wanting to come in and apologize to you. Um, I feel like this person may be watching you um, even though you guys are not talking. I feel like you may not see this person coming. I feel like this person has took so long to come, you might have forgotten about this person and went and started something else. Yeah, there is some clarity going to come in, but I feel like you're still not going to be that interested in this person because there are too many fucking bitches in this fucking reading, okay? I have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Somebody that you're dealing with deals with other people a lot. And I feel like you know this about this person. That's why this person drags their feet to commit to you. And even if y'all are in a commitment, this person still drags their feet with you spending time with you you know showing you love you this person is like i don't feel like they're in and out your life but i feel like their fallback game is serious and their fallback game is there because of all these fucking people in their life okay so let's see so tell me how this person feels about Leo and what the fuck they want with Leo. Two of Cups. Okay, so this person really loves you, though, okay? They love you. They have a deep connection with you, and they are well aware of the connection, okay? Not the pinnacles, but they don't want to be in a relationship, okay? That is the problem with this person. This person wants you to be in a relationship with them, but they don't want to be in a relationship with you, if you know what I mean. Ten of Wands here, because they feel like it's too much pressure to be in a relationship. They feel like they would have to uh, devote too much of them or lose some part of them if they were in a relationship they enjoy having multiple partners okay and as this person probably did not tell you that with this king of cups here this person is just simply doing what the fuck they want to do and dealing with you at your own pace and i know leos don't play that shit yeah six of swords you're gonna move on but the problem with you moving on is you can't help but wait there's a sense of you being very attached to this person and even though you walk away you may leave your fucking shoes to come back that's deep All right, so let's see. Spirit, tell me what is the outcome? Spirit, what is the outcome? What is the outcome as it pertains to Leo and this person? What is the outcome as it pertains to Leo and this person? Okay, so we have the two. I see you walking away from somebody who keeps juggling you. All right, this person is not going to stop doing what they're doing because this is what makes them happy. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You're going to go towards what makes you happy as well. Six of Pentacles. Maybe somebody who gives you balance. There may be somebody who is already in your energy who's a little bit better well off than this person. Especially how they treat you. Let's see what the advice is. The Magician. Make it happen. Whatever it is that you want, now is the perfect time to manifest. Yeah, you definitely needed to be single and walk away from this person in order to have this new offer. I feel like this person might have been blocking a blessings for you, okay? Because I see a lot of them about to roll in. You may also start to notice now that once you release this person, that things will just start happening to you out of the blue. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's why. This person was blocking your blessings because they weren't um, deserving of the things you were deserving of. And Spirit is like, I'm not going to give that motherfucker 50 cent when they don't deserve a dollar. A penny, a quarter, a nickel, and you do. Because you were just going to share it with them. Because Leos are very sharing. True love. It says, this is a romance of a lifetime, but pay attention to the red flags. See, I feel like this new person or this new situation that's going to come in is going to be something that truly makes you happy. But you have to also pay attention to this past person that you need to forgive and learn from. Because this person may want to come back and offer you some type of commitment once they see you doing better than them. I, 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 don't you dare go back. 
Thank you guys.